Well, hello everyone. Uh, time for another action-packed unboxing video. And uh, we're having a little storm here in Louisiana, so uh, if you hear some thunder, well, that's what's going on. So, home ownership is full. Ah, a little thunder there. Home ownership is full of these little tasks. Uh, and, you know, our mailbox was... Uh, probably 40 years old so and our our neighbor replaced theirs because of a broken handle so I thought man I, I don't want to be outdone here I'll just get myself a new one up too so I ordered this one from Amazon uh, and you know I upgraded it a little bit this one has a magnetic uh, lock on it so I thought that was a nice feature uh, pretty straightforward uh, a mailbox in a cardboard box from Amazon. Some irony there. Oh, there was another flash. Yeah, about four seconds out. I don't know how many miles it is. But now, I, I, I don't really know what to say about a mailbox. It's, uh, you know, a pretty standard sort of a thing. But, but, you know, maybe it's a bit intimidating if you haven't done that sort of thing. Uh, new homeowners, you know, you're always faced with all these little tasks. So th this is a pretty standard size mailbox, about 19 by 9 or so. You know, I measured the one that my neighbor bought, so I wanted to get one the same size. Uh, I probably would have gotten a little bit bigger one if it had just been me. <laughs> so right about here I'm going, oh man, that, that's not painted. I've never seen a mailbox with a, with a silver flag. Heck, I should have, you know, I should have been more careful in my shopping. But you'll see later on, I got the spray paint out and painted it, so it all came out okay. Uh, it's kind of cool. I had a can of red paint left from the uh, airplane build, so I was able to use that again. So the first thing is to get the old mailbox off, and it's just just some screws here holding it on. Not, nothing real complicated. And if you, of course, if you've got a, a little power tool, it goes a lot faster. And, and of course, uh, any excuse to get a power tool out, I, I'm uh, I'm up for that. So here we go. Just, so we've got that off there now, and just a little trial fit, and it looks okay. The board that's underneath the box. Probably could have been about a quarter inch bigger, but my the screws that I'm using are are long enough to uh, secure it in there. It's um, well, unless I guess a hurricane comes through, and then uh, we got bigger problems. Okay, so just get that in there, and some screws on the other side, uh, a little hard to get in. But anyway, so it works uh, fine, and then there's the little silver. Um, flag for outgoing mail uh, and you know I was pretty happy with it uh, but then I saw this inside there it's a little pull pin a little plastic jam pin so I removed the pin and and then I was able to uh, remove that flag right, so, uh, so ah man uh, I can paint this now so, so you can see that that's just a little plastic piece that acts as a little camshaft, and then that jam pin with the little serrated uh, teeth there holds that uh, plastic piece in place. So easy peasy. Let's just get some paint out and uh, do this thing up. You know, I had this uh, can of red paint left over from the airplane build, so. Uh, why not use it? It's gloss enamel, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Rust-Oleum. I like Rust-Oleum. It's a good paint. Um, so just a little uh, test spray, right, to make sure that the, that the spray is coming out the tip. And I really didn't clean that tip very well last time I used the paint can, so it, it's not really coating that well, but for this kind of a project, good enough. So you just hit that till it looks glossy and then stop. That's kind of the deal. Don't don't continue to spray it after it looks glossy. After, you know, I let it dry for a half hour before I turned it over. And then the same thing, just 
you know, uh, makes you, and you can see uh, the tip's not, not really spraying evenly, but uh, good enough. So I'm going to go through there and get a nice, uh, shiny, uh, well, once it becomes reflective, it looks glossy, just stop. And really, there we go. So, I think that paint came out pretty well. Rust Oleum's good paint, easy to use. It's uh, just for reference, it's about four hours since I painted that uh, uh, flag. So, so, first figure out how to get that uh, camshaft in there. There's actually t uh, a camshaft for the flag, and then a, uh, another close bolt, and. Uh, the jam pin in there. Now, now I'm about to make another little discovery that I'm not real happy with. Yeah, you just kind of kind of roll with it when you're doing home repair stuff. That's for sure. Look, look at it. It just falls over. I was like, well, that's not right. So you know, I thought well, maybe I haven't got the, the uh, little pin in there right. So you know, take it out, adjust it, see if maybe I didn't get it. You know, a nice, it, it's a friction fit, right? It should, it should hold with just a little bit of friction. So what I didn't know was that when I took the, uh, took that uh, plastic camshaft out of there, there was a little rubber O-ring that fell down on the ground. I, I later actually did find the O-ring, but I, I've got plenty of O-rings. So, uh, so man, at, well, after I fooled around with it for a while, I went in the garage and, uh, Got myself a, a o ring to fit, so it just you know find one with the right size that like this is standard kind of an o ring, and uh, take take it out, reinsert it, and then it should work like this. You can see just a little bit of friction now holds the flag in place, and and there's where the o rings go. To, I've actually got a couple in there now, uh, you know, so it's a little tighter perhaps than it originally was designed. Well, anyway, thank you, everybody. You know, if you found this video, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care out there, and I'm going to get the computer turned off.